Do you think that by just using one piece of paper, we can make a bridge that holds a lot of pennies? To make our paper bridge, we're allowed to fold or bend the paper. There also has to be two piles of books at least eight inches apart that the bridge has to go on. Okay. We can just try one okay. piece of paper and like... A penny. One penny, yeah. it holds it. <laughs> okay, that works. That there. doesn't hold one penny, then. Well, maybe we should like fold it somehow. What if we fold the paper in half? So the long way. Yeah, so we can layer it. Like yeah, that's a good idea. So like this. So wanna try that? We can just try that. Okay. I'll put one penny. Make sure you spread. Hey! Oh, it works. It holds one penny. So let's keep putting them on. Two. Three. Four. Eleven. Twelve. Uh oh. Oh! Uh, it held it held twelve pennies. But I thought that method worked pretty good. Maybe if we fold it one more do you wanna try it just sure. Holding it one more time. Okay. One. Two. Three. Six. Seven. Uh oh, it looks like it's sagging. <laughs> no, it's gonna fall. Eight. <laughs> Maybe we should just try the fan idea, just like see how that like works. that big. Mm, yeah, probably. Okay. I think that's about right. So let's okay. try it. Okay. So you want to line them up, like touching each other, like this? Yeah. I think we should, like, even it out. Okay. Let's try to get all these. <laughs> 51, 52, 53, 96, 97. <sighs> okay, 98. 99. 99. 99. 100. 100. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job. That worked yeah. really well. I know. Let's see what happens if we take these pennies and put them back in the cup and then put the cup onto the piece of paper. Okay. That way it's, yeah. So let's, let's refold it. Okay. I'm just going to put that onto the... It's a little bigger. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. I don't think it works because what we did before is... The weight was like spread out yeah. among all the folds, and then this one was like just all plopped the there, yeah. all in the middle, and it wasn't balanced at right. all. So I don't think that's. I agree totally. We think that our paper bridge was able to support a lot of pennies because of the way we folded the paper. The shape of the paper is called corrugated. When we didn't fold the paper, it wasn't able to support much weight, but when we folded the paper, it could resist the forces caused by the weight of the penny. Here's a way to make your paper bridge even stronger. Glue on a flat piece of paper to the top and bottom of your bridge. The glue keeps the folded piece of paper from flattening out. We know that a folded piece of paper holds more weight than a flat piece of paper. That's why our bridge is able to support a lot of weight. It's just like this corrugated cardboard. See? There's a folded piece of paper in between these two flat pieces. This makes the cardboard stronger. Mm-hmm. <laughs>